Today I will show you how to factorize an algebraic expression. Basically at elementary level, there are three things you can do to an algebraic expression. You either factorize, simplify, or solve. But today we are going to talk about factorization. That is what we call GCF, the greatest common factor, or HCF, highest common factor. It means the same thing. Whenever you are asked to factorize an algebraic expression, you should always group numbers together and letters together. For instance, look at this first expression. We have 2a plus 6, and we want to factorize this. The first term contains a number and a letter, while the second term contains only a number. So therefore, we are not going to consider letters on both terms, but rather the numbers, because we have a number here and also a number here. So what we have here is, is 2a plus 6. We have already seen that the second term does not contain any letter, so the letter should remain constant. The GCF here is the greatest number that can go into 2 and 6 without remainder. So I think the number is 2 because 2 can go into 2 as well as 6 without remainder. So what we are going to do, we are going to factor 2 out, but in the bracket we are going to have 2a divided by 2 plus 6 divided by 2. Now we are going to reduce this one. This is equal to 2 multiplied by 2 divided by 2 is 1. We have only a on the first term, while on the second term we have 6 divided by 2 which is equal to 3. So this is how you can factorize terms that have a common factor. Now let us look on to the second one. We have Remember, we are going to group the numbers together and the letters together. Let us first of all consider the numbers. The biggest number that can go into 6 and 15 without remainder is 3. Because 3 can go into 6 and as well as 15. So we have 3. Now to the letters. We have A from the first term, but we don't have A from the second term. Therefore, we are not going to factor out anything that has to do with A, but the first term has B, as well as the second term has B. So we have B outside. Again, the last term, the second term has C, but the first, but the first term does not have C. So we leave C as it is. Bracket, we have 6ab divided by 3b minus 15bc divided by 3b. This is how we do it. But make sure that you divide numbers by numbers and letters by letters. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. This is 3b. 6 divided by 3 is 2. b divided by b. Any number dividing itself except 0 is equal to 1. So we have only 2a left from the first term minus 15 divided by 3 is 5. b divided by b is 1. We have only c left. Now we have factorized this expression. Let us move to the third expression, 18pq squared plus 6pqr. We have two terms. We are going to first of all group the numbers together. We have 18, we have 6. The greatest number that can go into 18 and 6 without remainder is 6, because 6 can go into 18 three times, while 6 can go into 6 one time. So we have 6. Again, we have P here, we have also P here. So the common factor is P. We have Q. 
but here we have q squared while here we have only q q squared means q times q and the other side we have q so we have a single q a single q leaving a single q from the left hand side therefore the common factor between them is q so we have q we have r here but we don't have any r here so we leave the factor like this in the bracket we are going to say 18 p q squared divided by 6 p q plus 6 p q r divided by 6 p q this is 6 p q outside but in the bracket we have 18 divided by 6 i told you you should divide numbers by numbers and letters by letters 18 divided by 6 is 3 p divided by p is 1 but q squared divided by q is q because q squared means q times q divided by q one q cancel one q we only have a q left so we have q plus 6 divided by 6 is 1 so we can say 1 times p divided by p is 1 times q divided by q is 1 times the last one r but 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1 times r is r so we have only r to the last term so this is how we factorize the moving to the last expression this is what we have now among these three terms we have 14 42 and 70 among these three numbers the greatest common factor is 14 because 14 can go into 14 one time it can go into 42 three times and it can go into 75 times so we have 14 again we have x here we have x here we have x squared here so the common factor is x this is x we have y we have y and we equally have y this is y we have z here but all the remaining terms have no z in them so we leave z alone so in the bracket we have 14 x y divided by 14 x y this denominator is the factored values outside you should always divide by the greatest common factor so we are going to divide each of these terms by the greatest common factor minus 42 x y divided by 14 x y okay we have z here then the last term plus 70 x squared y divided by 14 x y now we are going to conduct some cancellations so this is equal to 14 x y in the bracket of the whole of numerator and denominator are the same so we have 1 minus 42 divided by 14 is 3 x divided by x is 1 y divided by y is also 1 we have z left this is z then plus the last term we have 70 divided by 14 which is equal to 5 x squared divided by x x squared means x times x divided by x 1x cancel 1x we have other x left so we have x y divided by y is 1 so this is what we have as the factorized form of this expression suppose you don't know how to think of this highest common factor the best way is to list all the factors of that number or later for instance like this one list all the numbers that can go into 18 without remainder do the same thing to 6 i know 1 2 3 
and six are all possible factors of six but six is the greatest one yeah here we have one two three six and 18 the greatest one is 18 but which one do they have in common they have six in common therefore six is the greatest common factor of 18 and 6 you do it repeatedly for other terms so if you enjoy this video kindly give me a thumb up share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my channel press the bell icon so that you will be notified whenever i upload new content